greetings world. We are anonymous. End game begins in America as final take a down of Trump begins. The militarization of relations between the Federation and the United States is now complete as the Ministry of Defense prepares to take over all U.S. Embassy functions after Ambassador Sergei Kislyak was recalled to Moscow, with both being in reaction to the frightening endgame. Now taking place in Washington, D.C. whose goal is the immediate ouster from office of President Donald Trump. And that new polling shows the propagandized American people are now in favor of two. For weeks the Foreign Intelligence Service has been reporting that specialized U.S. military units and American federal police forces have been flooding into the Washington, D.C. region, Virginia, Maryland, preparing for the great event. And that, perhaps, has been most accurately described by the globally known charismatic Christian preacher and evangelist Rodney Howard Brown, who just yesterday warned his tens of millions of followers of the plot to take a down President Trump. Pastor Howard Brown is the head of the Revival Ministries International Evangelical Church based in the U.S. whose members number more than 12 million, and who, on the 11th of July, was one of the numerous American Christian leaders who laid hands on. President Trump in the White House Oval Office evoking God to protect their nation's new leader. Following that meeting with President Trump, Pastor Howard Brown, yesterday, revealed to his global congregation that he had spent three hours, from 9.30 in the evening until 12.30 a.m., with a senior-ranking member of the U.S. Congress, and whose conversation he described as, he said there is a plot on Capitol Hill to take the president out. I said you mean by impeachment or by indictment he said no. To take him out, he will be removed suddenly from office. Pastor Howard Brown further revealed that this senior U.S. congressman had been in office since 1996 and had also warned him there's nothing we can do to stop it, and whose plot to do so was being planned by the deep state that has been trying to destroy President Trump since the very day he won the presidency of the greatest crime committed by President Trump against his deep state, enemies necessitating his sudden removal, is his plan to end all illegal U.S. wars of aggression so that he can use the trillions of dollars spent on this madness to rebuild his own nation, with one of his own top military leaders, Special Operations Command Chief of the U.S. Army General Raymond Thomas I.I.I acknowledging that American forces are fighting in a sovereign Syria where they will likely have no ability to stay if their presence is questioned in terms of international law, and General Thomas adding, we're bad day away from Russians asking, why are you still in Syria? President Trump's deep state, enemies are just days away from passing a new law that will effectively, and for the first time in American history, remove him from having to power over his own military and foreign policy, and that even the European Union is now warning the Americans that it will retaliate within days, if this law takes effect, with many global military, intelligence and economic experts now all essentially agreeing that the U.S. is coming apart at the seams. The noted Swiss economist Egon von Greyers has most accurately described what is now occurring by his stating that we are now in the frightening endgame and who further described why this happening by his saying, the gullibility of people today is exacerbated by the power of the internet and social media. Anything we read is accepted as fact or the truth, while a major part of it is just fake news. This is of course nothing new as it has been used by governments for centuries. Goebbels, the Nazi propaganda minister, who was an expert at manipulating the German people, said, if you tell a big lie often enough and keep repeating it, people will eventually believe it. The power of the internet and other media has facilitated spreading news and propaganda to billions of people and very few can distinguish if they hear or read real news or fake news. Operating under no such fake news, delusions, though, and knowing how close the U.S. is to complete chaos upon the ouster or assassination of President Trump. The Ministry of Defense has now taken control of all diplomatic functions regarding the United States and has appointed Deputy Minister of Defense Natalie Andonoff to be the new Federation Ambassador to America, as it is fully expected that the Federation will be dealing with, at least, 
a U.S. military junta controlling this country rather than its democratically elected leaders. To President Trump's only pathway to survival is if he can rally tens of millions of armed American citizens to his defense when this overthrow takes place, as President Recep Erdogan had done during the Obama CIA 2016 coup d'etat attempt to remove him from power, and that Trump eerily predicted just a year ago, in July 2016, when he cryptically tweeted, Looks like a military coup is underway in Turkey. They're taking their country back. Will be the same in the US soon if I'm president. We are anonymous.